Hey there guys, it's Anti Crazy Movie Geek here. Okay, I got a request from one of my YouTube fans, Brian Huff Jr., to do a video showing my top 10 horror films. Now, I love horror films. Horror is basically my all-time favourite film genre ever, in my opinion. Than action, comedy, thriller, science fiction, drama, and all of the other ones. So I'm basically a big horror fanatic. I own a lot of horror films from my DVD collection, so let's get started. Number 10 is going to be Dead Silence. The film is from the creators of Saw. A lot of people said crap about this film. They think it sucked and it was really bad and the reception was negative, but I can't help but like it. <laughs> I don't give a crap about the reception anyways. I think this is a really good horror. I thought it's mysterious, dark in a few scenes, and interesting, and quite chilling at the same time. There's not a lot of blood and gore in this film, so it was only given a 15 rating. So the film is basically suitable for teenagers. If you haven't seen the film, definitely check it out. It's a pretty good one. Number 9 is going to be The Collector. The film is from the writers of Saw 4, 6, and Saw 3D, so that's a plus for me. And this film does, indeed, have a new horror icon, and that's him on the front cover. So that's another plus for me, because horror films, basically in the 2000s, are just remakes from different classics, which we all idolise. For example, Friday the 13th, A Nightmare on Elm Street, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and other ones. Well, this isn't a remake. It's a fairly new horror film. There's some good gory parts and there's some great traps. So this is another really good one. Number 8 is going to be The Shining by Stanley Kubrick. This film is really good. It stars Jack Nicholson, Shelley Duvall, Scatman Crothers, May He Rest In Peace, God Bless His Soul, and Danny Lloyd. Stanley Kubrick also did other films. He also did A Clockwork Orange, that film is a crazy, disturbing film. So definitely check out The Shining. It's another fantastic horror film. Number 7 is going to be Friday the 13th. Now, the original is a whole lot better than the remake, in my opinion. The remake basically had nothing to do with the original at all. It has Jason Voorhees as the killer in the remake, and it has a new cast, and... Pamela Voorhees, who is Jason's mother, is the killer in the original. And I prefer the original Friday the 13th more than the remake, in my opinion. This is a really old slasher film. It's made by Sean S. Cunningham. We all know what Friday the 13th is. It's a popular slasher franchise. If you haven't got all of the Friday the 13th films yet, definitely check them out. I highly recommend Friday the 13th. Number 6 is going to be Halloween by John Carpenter. Halloween is amazing. It's made by John Carpenter, like I said. He also did Christine, The Thing, and all of the other ones. So, this is one of my top favourite horror films. It's really, really good. And the DVD is made by Anchor Bay. So, I highly recommend Halloween. We all know what Halloween is. It's just basically Michael Myers killing people. So definitely check out Halloween. Number 5, A Nightmare on Elm Street. Now, I got a German box set of the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise really unexpectedly. So the DVD is German. But anyway, A Nightmare on Elm Street is a classic. It's made by Wes Craven, who also did the Scream franchise, The Last House on the Left, The Hills Have Eyes Part 1 and Part 2, and other ones. And Robert Englund plays Freddy Krueger really brilliantly for the role. And it also stars Johnny Depp, so this is Johnny Depp's very first film, so this is his film debut. Definitely check it out. Number 4, Freddy vs. Jason. Now, I really idolise this film with a lot of passion. It has Robert Englund as Freddy Krueger once again. 
There isn't the same actor to play Jason Voorhees in the Friday the 13th franchise. There are different actors to play Jason in the Friday the 13th films. It's directed by Ronnie Yu, who also directed Bride of Chucky. It is really, really violent, and it's a great horror film to watch. Highly recommend Freddy vs. Jason. Number three, Hellraiser. The Hellraiser franchise is really well known for the over-the-top sick, bloody, gory violence. It's made by Clive Barker. The film is based on the novel by Clive Barker and he written and directed this film and he's one of the producers for Hellraiser 2 and Hellraiser 3 Hell on Earth. Definitely check out the Hellraiser franchise. Doug Bradley plays Pinhead really perfectly and that's him on the front cover holding the the puzzle box and all that. I really enjoyed Hellraiser. Number two, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Now this is definitely my all-time favorite Toby Hooper film. It's really old, it's made in the year 1974. It's really low budget. I don't hate films that are low budget. Well this is a low budget horror film. It is a really, really good masterpiece for its time. It's definitely one of the most terrifying and disturbing films ever made. If you haven't got the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, you should definitely get it because it's one of the most popular horror films ever made. I really enjoy the Texas Chainsaw Massacre with a lot of passion. Definitely check it out. And number one, it's not a horror film, it's a horror series that I really idolise since I was 14 years old. I don't have the franchise with me, but it's the Saw franchise. The Saw franchise made me got into horror, really. I really enjoyed the Saw franchise, I enjoyed all of the Saw films, and I'm pretty sure to collect all of the Saw films on DVD in the future. So I really love the Saw franchise. So that is my top 10 horror films. Thanks to Brian Huff Jr. who requested me to do this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. Peace.